Okay, hello everyone, I am back with another video. Uh, I got no clue when this is going to be uploaded, but for now, I've got, I'm filming this. This is, um, I made this kind of as a thank you for everyone that subscribed. So, with Age of Ultron being out now, I figured I'd finally upload this. So, this is my mini heli carrier. Um, mini micro scale heli carrier. Um, build, it's not that big. I've got it on this trans clear base plate. Got another one. Got two of these, but. Um, so, it's not too terribly big. I did try to get as many details accurate to the official Lego one as possible, but I was not able to get everything. But I did try, so. If there's something that you think could be done a little better, feel free to comment down in the description on what I could do better to change it. Um, but for now, this is what I've got. So from the back, you can see got the two main engines, which got a Lego Summer magazine here with the heli carrier, I think, in it. So this is what. It looks like. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. Well, that's basically what it looks like. And you see there, that's where the that's what the engines look like. So I kind of got them angled with mine, angled outwards, like the set. Which, I really like the set, but I'm not ever going to get it, probably. So, that's why I made this mini version. Um, just to compare it to a minifigure, here is a Hydra Henchman from the Avengers Hydra Duel... Avengers Duel... whatever the set is. Anyway, the Avengers set with this guy, $20 Age of Ultron set. Compared to a minifigure... That's how big it is, but that is because of the trans clear bricks on the bottom. So, get another base. Oh, nah. So, this is what it looks like if it was sitting on the water. But then I wouldn't have these. But you can see there is some plating. Try to get the plating underneath to like kind of give it that shell almost, since it does have it like this. Um, on the actual model, there is a dark bluish gray, like piece or so here, so that's why I got a one by three tile. Um, the front, like, I guess these would I'm not exactly sure what they are, but I think they're cannons. <laughs> um, yeah, kind of the one cockpit up here, the four engines, um, and then you kind of got this big angled um, runway, which. I did make a micro, micro, micro scale fighter jet, but it's almost like t too big of a model. But for the moment, I do. I did have a couple of these, but I did, I think, take some of these apart. So, do have one of them, micro scale fighter jet. So just to compared to the whole thing, and then with a minifigure. So that kind of shows how big it is. But it, the mini model can fit the bigger model. Um, it does look a little weird, but there's nothing I can do about that. And any of you trying to make this, um, it's not too terribly hard. That's a 2 by maybe like 16, or nah, maybe like a 14. I'm not exactly sure, probably 2 by 14. I used brackets to attach these pieces and um, these pieces are attached using um, wedge plates yeah wedge plates I got some black tiles and to show how I made the ramp um, which I did have the editor of the blocks magazine approach me about this saying he wanted to put in a his magazine but I've not heard back from him so if he's watching Make sure to contact me. But this is the top part of it. 
Um, it does lift it to, 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 to off. Um, and there is the one jumper just holding it there. And then you can kind of see the back a little bit better. I did use, I think those are hinges back there to attach these. There's two of them. So they're pretty, pretty hard to move a lot. Not real easy to move, but yeah. <laughs> I like Area. Mini micro scale version. Feel free to drop me a comment. I'm looking forward to any suggestions any of you may have on what I can do to make it better. Or if you just really like this, feel free to tell me that you really like it. <laughs> or you can drop me a like. Or if you're really feeling good about yourself and really like this video, you can subscribe and comment. So, I'll see you all next time. But before you go, I do actually have another DC mock. It's probably a, it's from a show from a couple years ago, Green Lantern, the animated series. So if any of you guys know what that show is, and there's a ship in the show, it's called the Interceptor. Uh, I made it in a mini, like the same scale that this is made, but um, it's not exactly complete. Um, well, it is complete, just the fact that these plate. I did have, a, I do have a Bricklink core coming in with these in white. So, but for now, in just dark bluish gray. But this, I'll post a video for this soon, hopefully. <laughs> but for now. Thanks for watching, and see you later. Bye.